hold on, hold on. Christ, I gave God the glory for sparing my life. See, 75 years. I thank all of you for coming out this afternoon to celebrate with me. It's indeed a pleasure. I thank you all for everything you have done and been doing for the Fremont family. We've been away from our home for 53 years. We've been in Cote d'Ivoire for 35 years. So Cote d'Ivoire is like uh, my second home. I didn't intend spending my birthday here, to be frank. I told my daughter I wanted to spend at home with my, my husband, parents and all, you know, I decided to have a big, but I'm not a person who like big parties and all like that. But I still wanted to be home to be with my choir, with my church and my relatives. But she insisted that I come now. I'm the daughter and she's the mother. So I had to obey her rules. And I want you to thank you. I know I want you. I want you know to say thanks to her. She is more than a mother. She is everything to me. Since my husband died, I, I just don't know how to, what to say about this child. This child has been so good to me. I'm home every, at least every other day. She's calling to find out I'm all right. And I just thank her. I have other kids to call, but they're all away. And but she make, make sure that I'm doing fine. And I am doing fine. I thank God. In Liberia, I have relatives of my husband. I don't have any relatives of my own. They are all in the states. But my husband relatives really take care of me. They said my husband used to say I was the apple of his eye. And so they all hold me up. They are all of them are there and are very nice and I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. She said to me the other day, Mommy, it looks like you just anxious to go now. Because I said I'm going for New Year. I want to spend New Year in my country. So she said, but look, I, don't you want to spend it here? I said, I spend Christmas with you. I'm going to spend New Year <laughs> with the others over there, with my other relatives. And my niece is coming from the States. But I just want to thank all of you, my children, and I just don't know what to say. But I just gave God the glory for everything. He's been so nice to me since I've been at home. People have taken me just like I've been there for so long. So many things I have received. People who have been there for so many years have received it. I have lights. I have water. I have everything that I should have. And there's so many there who don't have. You know, they have been trying to get it, you know, but it's difficult. But I just thank God and I thank God for the IPCA. I'm happy I'm here for Thanksgiving. We celebrated Thanksgiving in my church at home. I go to my husband's church about 40 miles from Monrovia every Sunday. Once a month, I go to my church in the capital. So I just say thank you, Daphne, my nieces, my church mates, all of them when Flora said, Daphne is just like a daughter to me also. When she said she was leaving, I said, I hope she'll be back for my wife to And she said, do, do her, she will be back in that coach will be here. So I just want to thank all of you. And Marie, I'm so happy to see uh, Jackie. I haven't seen her for so long. <laughs> I, I, I just so I'm um, filled with joy seeing all of my friends, all of my, my nieces. I have this one, I have the other one from St. Marie, I have the, another doctor coming in from St. Marie, coming from St. Marie, and so I just feel so happy that you all were able to make it and come to help me, I mean, you join me, me in celebrating my 75th year. My husband has said, when you get 75, we have a big party for you because I know you don't like parties. And I don't. I prefer to take my cake and carry it and celebrate with my choir. This is what I do all the time. When I was here, I would take it and celebrate with it with my choir. And so that's what I have planned to do. But I just thank you. But I thank you for my daughter. She's been so good to me. Thank <laughs> you.